Imagine digging up your garden or hunting for clams in a beach and you find the remains of ancient creatures that walk the earth before men. What would you do? Recent dinosaur discoveries have just been made with vertebras, hips and teeth all leaving clues that have blown the minds of archaeologists. Where was the well-preserved dinosaur corpse found? What do we make of the dinosaur footprints from the dried lake in Texas? Are there any dinosaurs that gave birth to their young alive? Join us as we uncover the recent dinosaur discoveries in today's video. A few weeks ago, paleontologists discovered a new dinosaur species in Argentina. This dinosaur is similar to the T-Rex with its large head and tiny arms. But why tiny arms? According to the researchers' findings published in Current Biology, the creature's small forelimbs were no evolutionary accident, but rather gave apex predators of the time certain survival advantages. Our new dinosaur was named Maraxes Gigas after a dragon in the books that inspired the TV show Game of Thrones. That's the Song of Ice and Fire book series. You get the idea? The Maraxes remains indicated that the dinosaur died at about 45 years of age and about 4 metric tons of weight, researchers said in their findings. They believe the dinosaur lived 90 to 100 million years ago, what is now Argentina. According to the researchers' findings, the new species is the most complete Carcharodontosaurid yet from the Southern Hemisphere. Carcharodontosaurid refers to a group of carnivorous theropod dinosaur species. But the anatomy of this group and other giant carnivorous dinosaurs like T. rex and abelosaurids are defined by large skulls and feet and tiny arms. According to the researchers, this kind of anatomy is still weakly understood. But M. Giggers may be putting some of the more pieces of the puzzle together. Findings also increased the researchers' understanding of the species' of skulls. The researchers told Reuters that the short forearms have now become understood to indicate that such dinosaurs relied on their skulls to attack prey. University of Minnesota paleontologist and study co-author Pete Makovicki told Reuters this. Despite their powerful appearance, it's hard to imagine they were used much as they barely extend beyond the body and could not have reached the huge mouth. Instead, researchers believe that the forearms were used primarily for mating activities. Whatever the tiny forearms may have done for these gigantic beasts, scientists now can understand how some of the planet's perhaps most terrifying ancestors came to evolve. Moving all the way to the east is China, where a diner sitting in the outdoor courtyard of a small restaurant in China's Sichuan province happened to look down at the ground and spot something unusual. Guess what? It appeared to be a dinosaur footprint. Two weeks ago, Chinese paleontologists confirmed that the diner was right. The depressions had in fact been left by two dinosaurs as they plodded across the region about 100 million years ago. Using a 3D scanner, scientists determined that the tracks were made by sauropods. Sauropods are large herbivorous dinosaurs having long necks and four legs. They are a group of herbivorous dinosaurs characterized by having a long neck and a tail. According to Li Xing, a paleontologist at China University of Geosciences who led the team investigating the site, prints were probably made by the species Titanosauriforms. The footprints are about 22 inches long on average, and the dinosaurs probably measured about 26 feet long and weighed more than 2,000 pounds, Xing said to the Washington Post. Though it's not something you see every day, the discovery of dinosaur footprints occurs occasionally in China, just not in urban environments because most of the time, the ground of the city is either vegetation or cement. But this wasn't the first accidental discovery of dinosaur remnants in recent years. There is the case of Mark McMenamin, who was walking across the campus of the University of Massachusetts at Amherst last year. He and his wife collected stones at a construction site, then later noticed one of them appeared to be a fossil. Newsweek reported that it was, in fact, the elbow bone of a 30-foot-long predatory dinosaur known as a neotheropod. McMenamin, a professor of geology at Mount Holyoke College in Massachusetts, estimated the Jurassic fossil to be between 145 million and 200 million years old. Back at the restaurant in Sichuan province, Jing and her team continued to study the accidental discovery of the dinosaur tracks. The area where the sauropod footprints were noticed has been roped off so curious dinos won't accidentally harm them. Now, tourists will flock to the area. The restaurant now serves dinosaur-themed cuisines, if you're so inclined. The remains of one of Europe's largest dinosaurs have been discovered in Pompal, Portugal. Paleontologists say the fossils suggest the sauropod was nearly 40 feet high and 82 feet long. The first signs of the massive dinosaur were discovered in 2017 by a private property owner. 
the property owner then contacted paleontologists from the University of Lisbon to excavate. During the most recent excavation, researchers recovered two-meter-long vertebras and hip. Back in Argentina again, a species of dinosaur recently discovered in Argentina had an armored back, distinctive jaw and tiny arms, and was roughly the size of uh, a dog. That's right, fossils dated back almost 100 million years ago in the humid late Cretaceous period suggest that this Stegosaurus walked on two feet, unlike most other dinosaurs in its family. The plant-eating creature had armored plates to protect it from predators, and according to research published last week in the journal Scientific Reports, it weighed about as much as a Boston Terrier. Its discovery sheds light on a previously unknown lineage of dinosaurs from the Thyreophora family, which includes the much larger Stegosaurus in the Southern Hemisphere. For Argentines, Jacopil completes in a vast succession of discoveries the missing letter for our dinosaur alphabet, and we can for the first time show an alphabet of dinosaurs that lived in Argentina, researcher Sebastian Apesteguia said in a statement. The researchers also added that the Jacopil's name comes from the crest on the lower back of the dinosaur's jaw, the function of which is unknown. Kaniukura means crest of stone in the language of the indigenous Mapuche people. The Jacopil's teeth were also unusual. While most herbivorous dinosaurs had leaf-shaped teeth that were similar on both jaws, the newly discovered dinosaur's teeth were shaped differently on each jaw. Its teeth also appear worn down, which the researchers said indicates that it processed food more efficiently than other members of its family. The path to reconstructing the dinosaur's body began in 2012 when Apostegia toured La Buitrera paleontological area, where other dinosaurs have been discovered, and found two small bones that he could not identify. Two years later, he and other scientists found a skeleton with unusual teeth and a block-like jaw. A researcher recognized the fossil as a type of armored dinosaur and continued collecting bones until 2020 when they finished rebuilding the structure of the species. In a statement, Apestegia said, The desert region is uninhabitable for many species, so it tends to have fossils of few animals. Jacopel is a small and a very rare dinosaur and obviously like to travel through desert environments. In the United States, a member of a non-profit working at the Dinosaur Valley State Park in Glen Rose, Texas, discovered ancient dinosaur footprints that have been revealed by the severe drought conditions in Texas. They were discovered after the rivers had almost dried up entirely. What dinosaur but how long have they been there for? It has been discovered that the footprints belong to the Acrocanthosaurus. They have been there for a hundred million years. That is just one of the most well-preserved dinosaur marks on our world. Last year, the archaeologist Marie Woods was actually looking for clams on the beach in Yorkshire, England, when she spotted something unusual. The footprints of a species of theropod that happened to be 165 million years old. It was the largest footprint of its kind ever found in that part of England. The dinosaur was also similar to the T-Rex. This ancient reptile also stood on two legs and was carnivorous. Woods told the website, All I wanted to do was grab some shellfish for my dinner and I ended up stumbling across this. The shellfish can surely wait. There was also the discovery of a well-preserved dinosaur corpse unearthed by miners in Canada. How was it discovered? While excavating at the Suncor Millennium Mine in Alberta in 2011, the miners stumbled upon the fossilized remains of a heavily armored creature the Nodosaurus. According to National Geographic, it dates back to about 110 million years old. But it was not until 2017 that first time. It is considered one of the best preserved dinosaur fossils ever found. So complete are the remains that scientists at the Royal Tyrrell Museum, Alberta, were able to examine the contents of its stomach, mosses, pollen and spores. Wow! But do any dinosaurs give birth to the young alive? In 2011, paleontologists in China encountered a big rock with a fish fossil on the surface. They hauled it back to the lab where, according to new scientists, it sat for about a year. One particular day, the researchers decided to crack it open. To their amazement, they discovered inside the remains of a mother, Ichthyosaur. 
An ichthyosaur is a fish-like creature that swam in the oceans during the Mesozoic era between 252 and 66 million years ago. This mama dinosaur was giving birth to three babies. One was already out of the womb, another one was halfway out, and the third was waiting for its chance. A chance that this fossil find altered the view held by scientists of when dinosaurs began having live births, pushing back the historical record by nearly 250 million years. Ichthyosaurs, which evolved from land-based creatures, proved that dinosaurs had moved on from egg-laying much earlier than previously believed. One of the researchers told Life Science this, This land style of giving birth is only possible if they inherited it from their land ancestors. They wouldn't do it if live birth evolved in water. Since many species of dinosaurs would not have been fossilized, we will almost certainly never discover all the kinds that existed. Not including the fact that a dinosaur needs to have died in just the right circumstances for its remains to be findable, and that is notable indeed. So if you're digging up your garden or hunting for clams on a beach, keep an eye out for dinosaur remains. Thanks for watching this video. Which of the recent dinosaur discoveries do you think is the coolest? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more amazing content. See you on the next one. Until then, bye!